Hi guys, we are looking for Forex traders just like you to take part in our educational challenge. You can earn while you learn. The goal, the purpose of this educational challenge is for you to become a pro trader and trade capital of up to $500,000. You will be given access to a bespoke indicator that has been developed by expert traders over many years. This indicator makes it easy to identify buying and selling opportunities in the market. So if you think you've got what it takes to complete this challenge, then click on the link below. Good morning traders, how are you? I hope you're all well. Um, today is Wednesday the 29th of March and as always guys we're going to look back at yesterday's trades, we're going to look at today's potential trades and we're going to look at the important news for today as well. Um, before I get started, let's keep my editor happy. Um, three things. First of all, the Discord channel. If you haven't joined it, come join it. We also have uh, the VIP Discord now where we give you trade ideas and you can have access to me and ask me any questions you like. Secondly, guys, uh, if you would like to be mentored one-on-one -on -one with myself, then drop us an email and I will send you all of the details. And thirdly, guys, what is thirdly? We have an educational challenge where you learn how to trade a bespoke indicator. You can earn while you learn. Um, and if you are successful, you can trade uh, larger sums of money. Um, so yeah, check all of those things out. They are all in the video description. Um, right, so trades, guys, trades from yesterday. Um, the first one was this. We only had the two trades. And basically, guys, we're going to look at the power of confluence today. All right, and, and breakdowns in structure. So um, what are we looking at, guys? So yeah, this is New Zealand dollar, Swiss franc. All right, and we got this one pretty wrong, to be quite frank. Um, the idea was this. The idea was good. Yeah, we were in a downtrend. Yeah, okay, we're in a downtrend. We've got lower lows, lower highs. Okay, so yeah, clearly in a downtrend. So structurally, that was the case. We also had, you know, two bearish candles form. Okay, you know, bearish, bearish. And the idea was just to, you know, carry it on down, back down to these lows. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of room, but there was enough room once we got a retrace to come down. All right, so that was the idea. As you can see, we had the most bullish candle you've ever seen on planet Earth. I'm only joking. I'm sure there are more bullish candles, but you get the idea. Yeah, the buyers took control of this market. Our idea was wrong. If we drop down to the H1 chart now, I'm just going to show you something. Okay, so, you know, price come up into our grey zone. Yeah, and one of my VIP members did point out that we did break these highs. Yeah, with this candle here. And when I said, when if we break these highs, I'm not interested. I should have listened to myself. Okay. So there was a sort of a catalog of errors on this trade, guys. Yeah. And like I say, I try to be as you know transparent as I can. So, yeah, when when these highs were broken, we had higher highs. All right. So that should have been the first red flag. Thank you for pointing that out in the VIP Discord. Secondly, guys, we got this candle. Okay, so when we got this candle in our grey zone, it was an aggressive trade, uh, and I'm going to explain why. But we got our red candle. I entered this trade. I entered here, put my stop above here, and the idea was to take price back down. All right. So, okay, you know, I've broke my first rule here. We had higher highs. But we also, um, I didn't listen to my structure breakdown. There was no H1 structure breakdown here. Yeah. Structurally, yeah, we were with the uptrend. Okay. But even when we get this candle, guys, what I could do is wait for an M15 structure break. All right. So let me highlight this candle. And then let's look how this looked on the M15. 
Oh, sorry. I keep doing this, guys. I keep drawing random lines like I'm a madman. Yeah. And then let's look at this. Yeah. So that was that candle. Let's zoom in a little bit that I've highlighted. I can remove this now. Yeah. But we've never got a breakdown in M15 structure. Okay. Never got a breakdown. All right. If we'd have broken these lows, yeah, then we would have had an extra piece of confluence. And that would have given us more confidence to take this trade. Remember, confluence equals confidence. So if something like this happened, we didn't make higher highs, and then price started to break down, then that would have been a better trade and a higher probability trade. Okay? So what I'm trying to tell you is that there was a sort of catalog of errors with this trade, guys. All right? I didn't wait for M15 structure breakdown. I did, if we go back to the H1, I did get my, you know, H1 candle, but it had already broken these highs. So, yeah, should have listened to myself and not got into this trade. Um, you know, now and again, guys, we, we will make mistakes like this. It's We are only human. It's trading. Don't beat yourself up too much. Um, so, yeah, that's what happened, guys. Uh, bad trade. Uh, the next one was this, and this is again going to show you the power of confluence. So this was New Zealand dollar against the Canadian dollar. If we go to our day chart now, so basically, guys, we were seeing price bounce off of this this downward channel. Okay, so we were potentially looking to take price back down to here. Um. If we now look at the structure on the day chart as well, we also have, you know, potentially a head and shoulders pattern forming. Okay, we need to see a break of these lows. But yeah, we're seeing a head and shoulders. We've got shoulder, head, shoulder, head, shoulders, knees and toes. Um, so yeah, head and shoulders pattern forming. If we drop down to the H1 chart now, Sorry, let's go back to the day chart. We also had this bearish candle, okay? So the idea was to come from this gray zone back down to this gray zone. Yeah, that was the idea. Um, and so far, so good. Let's look at the H1 now, okay? So, okay, it's shooting up as we speak, but we still got our um, risk to reward of one is to one here. So, again, price come up into our gray zone. Yeah, I mean, it come up to this this area here. We've got a reaction here, but this was a stronger reaction. All right. So I actually entered on this candle, okay, and put my stop above here. All right. And I've already got my risk to reward of one is to one. Okay. With my broker, I actually made more profit, but I got my risk to reward of one is to one. Okay. Again, let's circle these. Let's circle these two candles. All right. And I'm going to show you again the power of com confluence. Okay. So let's drop down to the M15 chart now. And let's move across. So if we traded this first candle here, all right. So I'm going to remove this yellow circle now. Okay, if we'd have traded this first candle here, yeah, we would have got stopped out because at no point do we get an M15 structure break. Yeah, we just don't get it. Okay, so it would have been a bad trade. But this one, again, I'm going to remove this down. This one, we get a structure break. Yeah, if we look at the structure like this, we actually get a break of these lows. OK, so this extra piece of confluence gives us more confidence to take this trade. And as it pans out, it continued to break M15 structure. Yeah. And it came down even further. So, you know, add that extra piece of confluence to your trade, guys, even if it's something as small as an M15 structure break. Yeah, it will it will increase the probability of your trade. Yeah, and then if we um, if we carry on down here, you could see, 
yeah, it carries on down. So as soon as we get this structure break here, bang, breaks these lows. You know, M15 structure doesn't break again until we break these highs here. And then when we break these highs, we're potentially wrong. Okay. So, yeah, you know, sometimes just follow the M15 structure. Um, so, yeah, made some risk to reward of one is to one on New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. And, um, yeah, bad trade on New Zealand Swiss franc. Um, let's take a look at today's trade ideas now. <music> Guys, if you enjoyed the recap and looking at the power of confluence and M15 structure breaks, then come join us. Subscribe to the channel, smash the notification button and smash the like button. Merci beaucoup. Um, right, guys, trades for Wednesday, the 29th of March. Um, before I start, I must mention a few things because of my editor. So first of all, guys, uh, the Discord channel, come join it. There are traders sh sharing knowledge and ideas and general chit chat. Also, we have VIP Discord, which you do have to pay for, but you have access to my trade ideas and uh, me. You can ask me questions throughout the day. Secondly, if you would like to be mentored one-on-one -on -one with myself, drop us an email and we will send you the details. Uh, and thirdly, guys, we've got an educational challenge. So uh, we, we teach you how to use a bespoke indicator and try to make money using that. OK, so check that out as well. All right, guys, my editor will be happy. Let's look at today's trade. So the first one is this euro against the Aussie dollar. So if we start with the weekly chart, because there is a weekly resistance level here. So I just want to show you that. This is why I've got this larger gray zone. All right, so there's a weekly resistance level, first and foremost. Secondly, let's look at the day chart. So price at this level doesn't know what to do with itself. Why doesn't it know what to do with itself? Because it's in an uptrend, but it's hitting weekly resistance. So you are going to have weekly sellers in here yeah and daily buyers in here okay who will win answers on a postcard okay so this is what we're seeing hence we're just getting this price action okay but eventually it has to go somewhere and the clue the market has given us is this bearish candle yeah you can see this is far more bearish than the previous candles so we are looking for shorts. We're going to look for shorts back down to this blue line and this moving average 20, this psychological level. All right, guys, we're looking to short this pair. If we drop down to the H1 now, so a couple of things can happen. Yeah, first of all, price comes back up to these highs. I mean, structurally on the H1, this is potentially what could happen. We come back up to these highs, we get a bearish reaction. We can then enter the trade and then take it back down to these lows. I would close 80%. That's how I roll and then leave 20% to run down to here. Okay, if that doesn't happen, price could break. Yeah, this lower grey zone. Okay, so price comes down, breaks all of these lows. We get a retest, we get a bearish reaction, and then we could come lower, guys. All right, so Euro, Aussie, Dollar, we're looking to short that pair. Uh, next one is this, pound against the Canadian dollar. Yeah, we've been seeing a bit of Canadian dollar strength tied in with the the strength of oil yeah if oil goes shooting up canadian dollar becomes like arnold schwarzenegger um right pound canadian dollar let's start with the day chart lots of blue lines here again weekly yeah we are at a weekly high here okay okay we're at a weekly high if we look at the day chart now, what I'm going to do is actually remove this gray zone so we can see what the hell is happening. Um, but let's put this gray zone back in. All right. So we are right at the top of this gray zone. OK, on the day chart. And you can see that price has been building up and getting some bearish candles forming. Yeah, there are some sellers entering this market. 
Okay, if we drop down to the H1 now, sorry, my target is this, guys. I just want to ca carry this down potentially to here and potentially these last lows as well. So we've got a couple of targets. If we drop down to the H1, what do we want to see? Well, arguably, we've seen it. I mean, this low has just about broken all of these lows. But what do I want to see? I want to see a H4 break, break out of here, retest. Yeah, we get a bearish reaction, and then we can take price lower, guys. Yeah, I don't think this is just going to go... Pew, yeah, I could be wrong, but I think it's going to have a bit of a retrace before it starts coming lower. Okay, so yeah, break of this grey zone, retest, yeah, get into the trade, bearish reaction, come lower. Okay, it could come back up to these highs, yeah, because it is a bit of a ranging market. It could come back up to these highs, but again, we just want to see a bearish reaction and then we can take price lower. All right, so pound Canadian dollar short. The next one, there is more. There are four in total. Um, the next one is US dollar Canadian dollar. Okay, if we look at the day chart, we can see we have broken out of this, this area of support here. And like I say, guys, pet, uh, oil is storming up, giving Canadian dollar strength. Yeah, there's a... a, a, a correlation there um so guys yeah what are we seeing like i say we've we've had a break of structure yeah so we were in an uptrend on the day chart okay and then finally bang we've got a break of these last lows okay we've got a break and if i zoom in yeah zoomed in loads there we've also got this bearish candle all right and i think we can take price back down to this gray zone and potentially this free 550 level. Okay, let me put the blue line in. That's going to be my target. Okay, so around here. Uh, remember, don't be a dick for a tick. If it gets near there, take profit. Um, so that's what we're seeing, guys. Structure breakdown, bearish daily candle. If we drop down to the H1 now, all we're looking for, guys, is a retrace, yeah, to give us value. We need a retrace for value so what am i looking for i'm looking for price to potentially come up to this gray zone all right we get a bearish reaction um, once we get that reaction we can come lower i will close 80 percent at the first uh daily highs or low at hourly highs or lows yeah and then i'll let 20 percent run all right guys so a reaction in this gray zone is what we're looking for um there's more. Uh, guys, before I show you the last trade idea, if you're enjoying the analysis and the trade ideas, then come join us. Subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you. Mercy Buku. Also join the Discord channel if you haven't yet, guys. Um, okay, last trade idea is this. It is gold. You are gold. Always believe. Sorry. So let's start with the weekly. This is a bit of a weekly play, although, yeah, we are at a resistance level. But just look at this candle. Look at this candle, yeah, followed by these wicks. I know this week's wick hasn't finished forming, but everything is telling me to keep buying up, back up to these highs at least. Okay? And we're in a weekly uptrend. Okay? And... When the economy goes to shit, for want of a better word, gold becomes strong. And as you know, we're getting a lot of problems with the banks at the moment. Um, yeah, some of the indices are coming down. So this will give gold strength. That is a macroeconomic view. I don't normally do that. I am a technical trader. Um, okay, and now let's look at the H1, guys. So, yeah, we've, we've had this breakup in structure. Okay, so remember, I'm looking for longs, and H1 is building up, yeah? We're getting higher lows, higher highs. And all I want to see, guys, is a move back down into this grey zone, okay? Um, and then we get a bullish reaction, okay? And then we can come higher. Um, I'm actually going to change this grey zone slightly, 
Okay, good to take into account this last high here because that could be a good area. But basically, guys, I'm looking for a bullish reaction in this grey zone. Once I get that, we can enter the trade and we could potentially take price back up to this blue line here. All right, guys. So, yeah, we're also looking to buy gold. Um, yes, yeah, so we're seeing a bit of US dollar weakness. Yeah, we saw that across all of the pairs. Uh, right there, the trade ideas for today. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, subscribe, join things. Um, let's take a look at the news now. News for Wednesday, the 29th of March. It's a pretty light news day today, guys. Um, we've got two pieces of news. The first one is at three o'clock, London GMT, and that's pending home sales coming out of the US. So that could move any US dollar pair. And then the second uh, piece of news is this. At 3.30 London GMT, we've got crude oil inventory. So that can affect the US dollar and the Canadian dollar, as uh, I explained earlier. And then other than that, guys, as you can see, no other news to speak of. Okay, then, guys, that's the vid finished. I hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe, join Discord, do things. And I will see you tomorrow.